Yeah. Yeah, I can make it out from now. Good morning to everybody, the students of the Moshi Cooperative College, Cooperative University, Moshi, for the logic and legal reasoning today I am going to deal. And my name is Professor Dr. Muhammad Sahib Hussain and addressing to you. And when we want to say the what is the logic, in the logic in the sense, the right way of doing a particular thing. I repeat, the right way of doing a particular thing in a systematic manner. That is the logical way you can make. Suppose if I could ask you, where is your nose? If I could ask you, where is your nose? I will start my video so that you could see it. If I say that, where is my nose? Okay, is it visible? Oh, it's not visible because here it is there. Yes, when I say that, where is my nose? At the time, what you have to say is, you have to show the nose here. Is it? Power. Nose. With your index finger. You have to show it is here. But uh, if you show like this, is it a proper way? If you show the nose in this manner, is it a proper way? That means you did not use the logic. You did not use, it is a logic and uh, reasoning is interwoven. You cannot separate them. It is interwoven. You cannot separate them. So you did not use the logic. Logic is, you can say just this is my nose. Instead of showing like this, if you turn your hand and showing like this, there is no meaning at all. There is no meaning at all. In that way it can become. So, logic and legal reasoning go together. One cannot separate them because in the reasoning only we can use the logic. Through the logic only we can, it comes to the reasoning. A man having a sane mind definitely use a reason. Suppose if you want to spit, because here it is showing, I will come to this point later, but anyway that, if you want to spit, see he yawned, showing the total 32, including the Kimevo also. Did you get my point? Is it the right way? Did he use the logic? Did he use the reasoning? Hapana. He did not use the reasoning. Because whenever you yawn, Y-A-W-N, yawn. That is a yawn. So whenever you yawn, what you have to do? What you have to do? Keep your palm on your face, especially mouth, and shut it, and you can yawn. When you get the sneeze, what do you do? Take a kerchief or a softy or whatever you think, keep in your front and try to sneeze it. But don't stop the sneeze. Don't stop the sneeze because in the law of thought you will come across even case law. When you stop a sneeze in the board of, board of director meeting and his eye retina are blurred, it is slit and he could become a partially blind. Later he became a blind because he stopped the sneeze forcefully and hence uh, retina were blurred over there and he became say so and so. So when a sneeze is there, don't stop it even though it is, there. but you can use, reduce the, it's the sound so that in the board of directors there would not be any disturbance or nuisance will be created over there. Coming back to the point, when you sneeze, there is a procedure. When you spit, there is a procedure. Can you spit by looking at the big, uh, big sky and spit there to see whether the spit comes down or goes up? Amuna Kili, Kijiji Mtu, Toka Vapi, Mirambene Avu Kidongo Chakundu. People will think. Mentally retarded hospital is there in the Mirambere. Kariba, Wabi, Dodoma, Kudongo Chakundu, Zanzibar. Mentally retarded hospital. So that is the way you cannot spit it to do. 
because you have to use the logic a reasoning okay now you tell me what is the right way to spit once i told i believe can you spit in front can you spit in the front apana people are walking okay can you spit at the back it is impossible unless you are a aerobics you learn the aerobics and your body is so soft you can bend it in any way that you want then only but nobody will spit at the back can you spit at the right answer no you are not supposed to spit at the right then what why we should not spit at the right why not at the back in the back you cannot turn your neck and the up you cannot spit because that is going to fall on you friend you cannot spit because the people are walking there at the busy street let you presume it you cannot spit to the right also because when you want to overtake it you overtake through the right not with the left is it clear because it is a left hand drive tanzania is a left hand drive like india not like a usa in the usa right hand drive would be there or in ethiopia right hand drive is there eritrea right hand drive is there so even you see the rwanda kigali right hand drive is there sir we did not see all those places no sir because we were kuzilivia moshi and we will kufa moshi too have a great desire is is it a sin to have a great desire a vision a dream no but don't dream daytime don't try to see the stars in the daytime it will not be possible proportionately you work it so what i want to say is the best way to spit is using the logic and legal reasoning is left hand side because no one or take left hand side number 1 number 2 keep your palm in that manner and bend yourself and spit so that the spit particles will not fall back and it will be directly reach to the earth that is the reasoning logic of spitting i have given a simple example of spitting najwa spitting sir we don't know what is spitting ask to that is a spitting spelling s p i d b t i n g that is a spitting and uh, because i saw the face over here that means you could understand my accent now yeah my right sir somehow <laughs> please don't say somehow we say in the percentage manner always not somehow somehow is a very awkward very wrong way that is not the proper way how you eat in the food breakfast somehow can you say somehow either you say i ate or you say i did not eat or you can say yes i ate sir but kiporo amna shida at least you fill your stomach reasoning is a very much important factor when i say when i say a big class a small number of the people so my reasoning actually go accordingly can i say a big class and small number of the people we cannot make it out there is no logic there is no logic in our action the logic is there a big number of the people a small quantity of the students or we can say a big hall a small number of the students that is appropriate the hall is big but a few students are there kiddo that is the logic so when you are too much baridi too much baridi at the time where do you cover which part you cover sir private part private part always will cover it is where is too much baridi which part you cover sijui anyone did i ask the question which is a tough sir your language is a tough 
I said, you are exposed to my language. Look my eyes like a boondi. See your pale pale angaliya, matana shanti hapa ipo. Okay, come to the point. Did not understand what she did. <laughs> she did not understand. Okay. The question is, what I asked the question, can you repeat? Repeat. When it's too much cold, which part that you will cover? Sar, waist part. Sar, belly part. Sar, thai part. Sar, matako part. Buttocks part. Rump. Another name is rump. R-U-M-P, rump. Do you cover those things when it's too much cold? Hapa and First and foremost, you cover your ears and head. And later on, of course, we are wearing the clothes, hence not necessary, but still you have it a coat. And chini, especially as a shoe you are having, better use the socks and shoe. And that the part where you close it. That is a logical reasoning. And the reasoning is very much important pointer. And I already told you regarding the Kwanza Chupi, Peely Skin Tight, Tatu, Tatu, Sema, Kanga. <laughs> okay, ladies, Kanga. <laughs> now, giants, gents, Surwali, Sema, or Kaptura. Okay, Surwali. That is the logic. Suppose if you change the logic, Kwanza Surwali, Peely Skin Tight, Tatu, Chupi, then you will become a Superman. You will become a superman. What is the logic? Logic is sequence. Once I asked, I don't know whether you have gone. Is there, is there anybody in the class who went to the five-star hotel for Chakula Kula? Sir, Mama, until here we don't have the money. How could you expect that you go to the five-star hotel? In the five-star hotel, if you want to go, the logic is they don't serve the main menu. Kwanza nini? Kwanza nini? Sir Maji. <laughs> Kwanza nini? What is the first item it be served over there in the five star hotel? Sir, we don't know, sir, because we are never gone. Okay, those who are gone, at least they will reveal you. Sir, I don't have such a student, I don't have such a friend who could be having such a capacity to go to the five star hotel. Kwanza supu. Nini? Supu. Sir, supia ingombe. Hapana. Supia kuku. Supia samaki. Supia kenyejina kuku. Au kisasa. Au na mushroom. Najwa mushroom. Nini sema kiswahili mushroom. Moja. One. Uyoga. Spelling. You. Why? Oh. Hmm. Yoga. So people ask for the supia yoga. Mushroom soup. U Y O G A. Am I right? Yes. That is recorded over there. What you said is recorded over there. Okay, come to the point. Later on, you go for the another like bites like you can know paja fried paja and no and so and so thing later on you go for the main meal later on you go for the desserts either the ice cream or the fruit salad nini nani but some of the muslim people they will go lastly chaya ghava namoto moto or chaya maziva because the oily food will be digested easily or some people will go for the soda this is the sequence because that is the logical reasoning. And the same reasoning you will apply in the law. How you apply? There is a syllogism is there. Or syllogism. And which I see, uh, show there is a syllogism. It is called syllogism or syllogism. But anyway, that the way you pronounce it, the spelling is S-Y-L-L-O-G-I-M. Syllogism. G-I-S-M. That is the, actually the Syllogism. In the syllogism, what will happen? 
Example is given. For example, knowing that all men are mortal. Mortal means what is meant by mortal? Means they are going to die. Any living person is going to die. That is the universal truth. In Arabic, we will say, Kullu nafsun zayakhutul maut. All living creatures, one day or another day, they are going to die. And we are the living creatures. One day and other day, we are going to die. Sir, when you are going to die, why should you have to study law, sir? Please don't make it out. Live your life fully till you die. Don't think about the death. Death will sink only those people, those who doesn't have the future or they don't, they, don't, they don't dream at all. So now come to the point, all the men are mortal, means they are going to die. That is a major premise, means Makubwa. Now, and uh, Socrates, Najwa Socrates, only, I heard only one sound, Najwa, I don't know, Imbele, Najwa Socrates. Oh, a yeah, Jirani, sir. A yeah, Jirani, Socrates. <laughs> he is a great philosopher. <laughs> and people will not lose such a philosopher. He was served a hamlak. Naju a hamlak. What would you say? That is toxic substance in Kiswahili. Toxic substance. We move, we move. Poison. Nini sema kipara poison. Sumu. Sumu. S-U-M-U. And he was served with the Sumu. Socrates. Because the greatest philosopher. And Socrates is a man. Yes. Is the minor premise. And we may validly conclude. At the time Socrates is a mortal. Because man is mortal. Bigger premise. A smaller premise is Socrates is a man and next uh, the conclusion is Socrates is mortal. That is the conclusion. If a man is more smart and he is having a good dress, what is the conclusion? He is a maternal shati. Are you following me? Sir, what about the Mifupi au na imlikimo? You see, even imlikimo is so smart also. A good dress also. Can you look Batanashati? Yes. Use the logic and reasoning. Hapana. Because for looking good, height also more important. Is it clear? A reasoning is very much important, so syllogism that we will read. In one of these fortuary, the fortuary example which I have given you, a man who sat in my front could not understand my dialogue, my conversation, my lecture. How could I expect that the man who sat at the back would understand the fully? I cannot expect, because when he did not understand, automatically, Sir, he may be Akili Kali. Very rare. Can I trust this by taking this one? Because I am recording it. When you, when you take this, you cannot see that one. But you can hear my voice and it will be recorded. Answer is, that is called fortuary. Presumption. Presumption. Fortuary. It is one of the methods there in the reasoning. Of course, in the reasoning, there are four points are there, four to five points. Let us come to the four to five points where we can say how your reasoning will work. Because whatever you do, there would be a reasoning. There would be a reasoning. Like if a handsome lady is there, a very beautiful lady is there, a beautiful lady is there, at that time, what do you say in King Rezan? We say she is a beautiful lady. In Kiswali, Mrembo. Sava. Mrembo, M-R-E-M-B-O. Mrembo. Mrembo is a singular or plural? 
Brembo could be used for the male or female. Only female. If you say a man, you are looking Brembo. Amna kili, ko happy. Kudongo chakundu aur na mirambe ne. Matana shati. For man, you say matana shati. For woman, you say Brembo. King Reza. King Reza. For a man, handsome. For a woman, for a woman, beautiful. So that is the terminology. Did you use the reason or not here? Did you use the reason? To me a bongo. Yes, you use the reason. And that's why a specific word is for specific purpose only. We say a famous man. Suppose he is a famous in other activity, which is a vicious activity. We don't say famous man. What do you say? He does many vicious activity, anti-social activity. And that's why he's, he got the name. And a good man, he does the good things. And hence, he's, we can say he's a famous man. But when you say a man who is doing a, a wrong thing, we don't say famous man. What do you say? Anyone? Sir, you give the Zawadi, sir. It's a simple question. There is no Zawadi for the simple question. Notorious. What do you say? Notorious. N-O-T-O-R-I-O-U-S. Notorious person. Means he is famous in wrong activities. But we don't say famous. We say notorious. Because that is a logic. The way you have to do. So when you want to say the logic, I don't know whether you... Briefing Najwa. Briefing. What is meant by briefing? There is a case briefing is there. It is a logical approach to brief a case. And a case briefing is a Pifirak model and problem solving is in Iraq model. Is it first time that are you hearing me? Sema. Najwa Iraq model. I-R-A-C. Pifirak model. P-F-P hyphen F-I-R-A-C. Pifirak. And Iraq. Is it a initialism or acronym or contraction or shortening? Anyone? I think I, I told you all the four types of the abbreviations. Yamai? Yamai? I did not tell you. Okay, I will teach you later. Don't worry. When you say Pifirak, Iraq, where the case law is given, you have to write in a logically Pifirak model. The Pifirak model means first procedure, next facts, next issues, and uh, our rules applicable over there and conclusions are we have to write in the style. When the problem is given over there, it should be written in the Iraq style. I means issues. R means rules applicable over there. Keep your two hands, Zhu. On the table. On the table. On the table. Uh. When you say Keith and Zhu, Keith writes in that <laughs> Thank God, she is not sleeveless. <laughs> I don't know how many people understood my points. <laughs> Polisana. <laughs> those who understood, those who understood, their faces will be chaka chaka. Those who did not understood. What Molly you told? What Molly you told? <laughs> Okay, coming to the point. <laughs> coming to the point. Iraq model is there. I will give the model. One, one, one type of the model I will send you. The, the way you have to write. Either in Iraq model or Iraq model. I will give to the Ilario. Or Ilias. Charles Ilias. But now we will see. What are the things are needed over there for the legal reasoning. 
אוקיי? לגל ריזנינג איז הדינג ऑलवेज हेडिंग शुड बी कैपिटल लेटर्स बोल्ड नो पंक्चुएशन नो अंडरलाइन दैट इज द रूल ऑफ हेडिंग सो हेडिंग ए लीगल रीजनिंग अबाउट वेरियस फैक्टर्स एंड हैज वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स अटैच्ड टू इट सो देयर आर वेरियस फैक्टर्स आर देयर वेरियस एलिमेंट्स आर देयर वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स आर देयर टू सी हाउ ए लीगल रीजनिंग शुड बी देयर so let me directly go to the without going to the explanation okay let me see that when you talk about uh, correlations between your law and society we understand the social control perspective it happens because law enables to provide the solution to conflict that may arise by setting the precedents in past present and future why the law is necessary for the society what will happen if the law is not there anarchy people's right is might a law would be there nobody should have to cause harm to other person without any reasonable cause right to life right to dignity right to health right to education these are all the things which you have it yes it should be completed by the state because you are paying the tax and hence all the things will be taken care of by the state that's why up to sure i am missing i bure is it or not education बुरे हो अमना से मे लाउडली बुरे हा बी यू आर ई बुरे राइट दट इज अ वे ओके नाउ लेट एस कम टू द पॉइंट सो सोसायटी नीड्स लॉ कंट्रोल दट्स वे से ए लॉ इज ए कंट्रोलिंग मिशनरी टू द सोसायटी ए लॉ इज ए इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सोसायटी यस without law there is a problem would be there and my law is there my 10 commandments is my law i cannot teach when there is a gaps and people are to be one cluster at one place moja hapa moja phale moja people will not blame you the person who is passing by it morally mo kicha amra akili how could he will not keep the at one cluster because he can have the vision and the people will listen in in better manner so here without wasting the time let we go to the ingredients of it and uh, decisions are guided and followed by the logical reasoning whenever you are giving the decision there should be a log logical reasoning i will give one example and i will see because i cannot get up because if i get up i have to hold it otherwise it cannot be recorded suppose let me take apple anajua apple a double p l e apple matunda najua sijui yes and the two brothers are there two brothers are there they would like to share the apple and exactly they want to share it now you tell me what is the best way to share the apple and you may say sir you measure it correctly and cut it and give to them there is no such a me measurement is what do you have it okay a, a small kissu okay you want to cut it and how do you make it because there is no balance to measure how much the weight it is so that everybody would get the same type same amount of the apple so what is the logic you have to apply it anyone i will give 1000 as zawadi if you say the things because no one is there in my joint that's why he's asking shall i continue it or not uh, 1000 is a jawari if you tell the right answer could you see the 1000 1000 is a jawari if you say the right answer pole it will be taught in the adr alternative dispute resolution the best method is they will agree you cut i choose or i cut 
you choose. Best method. Are you following me? I cut the apple. Suppose if I cut the with the kissu, then I don't have any right to choose first. Apana, the imbele, the opposite person should have to pick it out. Is it clear? Are you cut? I choose. Ponza, I choose. Good reasoning. A logical reasoning. Let him cut. Though that fellow, when you are cutting now, he will be very cautious. Because you know that if you cut a dogo, the makubo, he will take it, other person. So he will try to maintain. He try to maintain. Not exactly. He try to maintain cut it. Because he doesn't have the right to pick first. No. Other man should have to pick first. The best way. Even in, sometimes now, I do have the students. Ah, that's why you given the easy question to her. For us, we have to give the gumu question because we are a man and she is a woman, because she is a beauty and we are not beauty. What I do now? Suppose if the question is there, individual assignment or the group assignment is there, if I want to give, okay, if the five students are there, for instance, because my students are only three, I say, I prepare the 15. You know, small, small, one, two, three, four, I roll it. And in the box, I will keep it. Then I will shake it. And I will take, Njo, Brambo, Matana Shati, Njo, Matana Chupi, Njo. Namba, Chukka Moja. If you are writing two questions, Chukka Imbili. Chukka Imbili, Chukka Hapa. So, see, Chukka Imbili. Okay, now, Soma, read. Sir, number two, uh, sir, number 15, okay. Mimi Andika, this lady got number 2 and number 15 for the assignment, home assignment. Then another person, Jo, Chukwa. Transparent. There is no, there is no that, sir, you are giving it to the lady because of she is very much favorable to you. And you are making no allegations. No allegations. Amna Chunabuzi. No allegations. Be frank. So that is the method I have. Because that is the way that you have to deal with issues. Sir, how could you know, sir? For instance, it is your luck. It is your luck which you are choosing it. Transparency. Amnashida. Go ahead. So a approach should be there where you have to maintain it. And that is very much important factor. Suppose in your house, your children are there. Your uh, walls become a blackboard or a green board. Am I right? Am I right? They will they will make the drawings on the walls. They write anything. They do whatever they like it. Even they you, you beat them also they will write. So suppose somebody wrote on the wall, and if you ask who wrote this and who spoiled this wall, nobody will say. Even they don't know who wrote that one. But you know, the logic that you want to find it out, how to find it out? The logic, use the logic to find it out who wrote and who spoiled the wall. Anyone? Anyone? Sir, to me a bongo. Sir, ni me sao, ni umba ni ipo bongo. The best method is you can play emotionally. Don't say who spoiled the wall. No. Oh, what a drawing. Even in my life, I could not see such a drawing, such a scene. Beautifully drawn. I want to give the zawadi to the man and who draw the thing so beautifully. Then he say, Dad, me. He will come forward. Come on. That is emotional blackmailing. See, logic. Logic, you have to use it. Then only that you will get the answer. If you don't use the logic, you don't use the reasoning, you cannot make it out. Even though in the entire children knows that that fellow wrote it, but they did not reveal it. They did not reveal it. But if you say the Zawadi is there, immediately he will come out. And suppose somebody has helped him. Dad, I also helped him because I am also entitled. 
Suppose if you draw something there. <laughs> so everybody will come out by using your logic, by using your reasoning. And that is a very important factor. In each and every life, use the reasoning. Don't say, love is blind. To me a bongo. Umepata. Umepata. Did you get it? Sir, I don't know, sir. Because she looks very beautiful, sir. That's why I married her. Okay, you marry, it doesn't matter. But see your member, Kwanza. Kwanza Oleva, Pili, BBC, Tatu, Fungate. You know, Fungate. Same King Reza. Same King Reza. Sir, I have not gone to Fungate, so I don't know. Honeymoon. Same? Honeymoon. See a man who is a miser. Najwa miser. Bahili. Bahili. So a Bahili man, he went to Pekyake, Fungate, because he would take the wife, Hela Yipo. Pekyake Nanda. Can you go Pekyake, Fungate? Amna Kili. Reasoning. When you go for the Fungate, you go with your valid wife. I say wife valid. I say Amna Machumba. Umepata? Sir, I don't have much. I say, did you understand it? Say yes. Okay. So never go fungate pekiake. Please. <laughs> to me a bongo. Use your brain. Suppose, say that if you are carrying a glass of water, hapa. Okay, hapa. You are carrying a glass of water and you are going. Some Mutundu asked Sangapi Sasa. So Sasa <laughs> Sasa. <laughs> okay, it's a nine ten. Kamahivi. Can you do so? Can you do so? If you really want to do, what you have to do? Badalisha, Angalia, Sema, Bade Badalisha, if you want. That is the reasoning. That is the logic. So logic and reasoning you can apply in any way. Even don't say that's why love is blind. Hapana. Don't say love is blind. No. Tumia bongo. You'll see your nunua mavazo. Mavazo yipo. Mapema. Kifo. Fariki. So that is the logic where you can make it out. Now let us come to the objectives, what the objectives are there to make it out. To introduce the concept of legal reasoning and its importance. Legal reasoning is everywhere necessary, logic is everywhere necessary and it is very important. To understand the basic components in legal reasoning, of course, to understand the role of legal reasoning in law, to know about the various types of the legal reasoning methods in the terms of the kinds of the arguments, to focus on the deductive methods of research, to understand the steps of the deductive methods, to understand the merits and demerits of the deductive method, best component in the legal reasoning is the four pillars in the legal reasoning are I court legal process logic, I can court, I court justice, I can court, I court experience, I can court, and I court policies, I can court. So what are they? Legal process logic, justice, experience, and policies. These are the component of the legal reason. So let us see the, what is the legal process. Legal process logic lays on the principle of consistency and equal application of law. So whenever you are writing the arguments, consistency should be there. Suppose if you are using a particular word like a friend, you are using as a friend, but don't use comrade. Comrade, it gives a sense that you are a socialistic bent of mind. If you use the comrade. But the comrade is nothing but a friend. But don't use it. So consistency would be there and equal application of law. And what the law would be applied over there, you should have to be very much careful. Keep the hand. Old habits die hard. I told you when you yarn, keep the hand. Again, she is showing the everything. All, all 32 into Kimewo also. Okay, now let us come to the, the science that involves the 
forming the legal conclusions can never be simple, right and wrong. It, and it is the correct application of the precedence and equal application of law. So, we are applying the law only. What law should be applied a particular offence? Can you apply for the murder? Sexual Offence Act? Hapana. We apply only penal provisions of the penal court. So what are the, sir, suppose you last year, say, a mobile phone or paisa, imbele hapa. Can you tough out academic block imbele? Or an administrative block imbele? Did you get my point? You lost your phone imbele hapa. Nini jina ye? Hall number. Say hall number seven imbele. Can you search it there in an administrative block? No. You search the place where you lost your goods. But you know that when, 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 when fellow, he lost his shoes in the church or in the Muscatini or in the temple. So do you know that where he is standing to find the lost shoes? He is standing at the graveyard. I asked why you are standing here one day in other day that fellow will definitely come over here I will come at her. <laughs> you stand at the graveyard and you think that one day in another day that fellow is going to die and he will come here do you think that he will come here with your shoes then I come at her. I'm not killing do you stand at the graveyard Definitely that fellow is going to come one day. How long that you stand over there? I'm not clear. No. Use your brain. Suppose you loved someone, but she dumped you and she married to the other girl. Can you become a bearded man and become a kicha and omba omba, nini nani, because I loved her too much, she married to somebody else and my life is miserable, and I am now becoming a beggar. Amnakli, if you lose one bus, try for another bus. If you lose one train, try for another train. Sir, I don't try, sir, because my father will look for me. <laughs> I am giving an example. If you lose one bus, do you that your life is over? No. Life is not over. You may not be successful at one time. Try for the second time. Try for the third time. And you will be successful. But don't use that. See, I lost my life. My life is miserable and dumped me. When I say an ordinary dialogue, you could not understand. If I crack the joke, how could you understand? Sir, we understand after 24 hours. <laughs> Only we told Jana. <laughs> the people, those are buying. Since yesterday or today morning, he is quite good. But now, laugh. I say, why you are laughing? No, no. Professor Hussein told the crack the joke yesterday. But yesterday I could not follow it properly. Now I followed. Hence, I am chaka chaka. Means, after cracking the joke, twenty four hours later, you are a chaka chaka. Polesana. One man is there. He became mad. Now you are mad. Kicha. I asked him. Suppose you asked a person, why did you become mad? Then he told, I loved Sheila too much and 100%, but she dumped me and she married to another person. And that's why I became mad. Then another person is there, chamber, in another room. Why did you get him mad? Sir, what should I tell? And to whom he lost? I married the Sheila, I became like this. I don't know. <laughs> I did not see chaka chaka on your faces. That means you did not understand. Did you understand? Sir, somehow. <laughs> 
to whom he would like to marry she dumped her and that's why he became mad who first person now the second person i said why did you become a mad kicha means whom she he dumped that sheila i married i married and hence i became a mad polisana i told the joke i cracked the joke i did not see on your faces chaka chaka sir we did that understand frankly speaking we did that understand is there any difficult word to understand simple question to me abongo sir difficult sir first day no sir please excuse me second day we will understand <laughs> how could you do so <laughs> okay forget about that one so now legal process is concerned and here a legal logic should be used over there and a conclusion should be drawn that is a legal process the principle justice is sword that slays the ensure that do right the between the parties the concept of justice revolves around the philosophical thought of justice based on evidence so next is one is a legal process logic a process should be there for instance if you want to arrest any person you have to show the reason for the arrest and you should have a, a court order to arrest a person and you cannot arrest a lady in the night by a man police no you cannot arrest in the night you cannot arrest a student in the campus no let him come out then arrest outside amna in the campus it is a due process a process should be followed so next comes the logic the process of logic lays down the principle of consistency and equal application of law how a logic would be there i told you that a logic is there you cannot arrest a woman with a man policeman you can arrest a woman with a a woman police you can arrest it it is a logic i don't know have you gone to indega vange na yo pana indege panda indege pole sana keep a good desire panda indege not with your money sarakali money when you go for the indege panda indege there is a checking is there in checking you have to keep their hand like this for the ladies ladies will check it kama kama hivi amna into kama kama hivi are you following me that fellow will be kujowa if you do so i don't know how many people pole <laughs> sana for for ladies tafuta only ladies will check it and that to be not public there is a curtain you see the curtain there is there is a curtain like that they will go inside and that lady will check it not kama hivi showing the imbili mam kubwa kubwa imbili mizigo ma niyo marima they will be in the curtain they will search it it is a logic to search a woman by a woman only it is a logic to search a man by a man only are you following that is the logic but the man a woman 